This is Andrew from Email Marketing NYC. In this video, I'll show you how to create browser abandonment flow in Klaviyo. So first of all, what you need to do to double check if your tracking code is working correctly. And to do that, you go to metrics in your Klaviyo account and you scroll down to the bottom and hide this and you do view product. If you have this kind of line, it means your product tracking is working and set up correctly. If you have something like straight line at the bottom where it says zero right here, and you have straight line, it means it's not working. Uh, first of all, you can click on setup web tracking and follow instruction how to do it or ask your developer to do it. In key, after you set up it correctly, it should look like this, uh, should have some kind of graph. And the next step would be go to flows and create a flow. Create a flow and call it test flow browser abandonment. Create a flow and this flow, the action will be metrics and view product filters, or you can add filters, it's up to you. Then we do, e, let's say time delay. Let's do 999 days. Um, by default, it's four hours, six hours, but 99 days because I don't want to send them that email. So let's do this, configure email. Let's do, choose a template, select this template, uh, save content. Uh, at this moment, I don't think it, they will have any data, so I'll do manual. I'll do smart sending is off. Um, okay, back, done. I will back populate, so it will trigger this flow with information. Uh, let's do, there's no information, but let's try it. Uh, click add it. Because the next step, as we create the trigger, we create delay, we create email. In the email, we need to set up specific blocks. And what block I, am I talking about? So the first one, uh, okay, so let's do text and let's do image. Okay, so save, let's do preview. And as you can see, it's already give us uh, data uh, for the person, um, what they checked but they didn't buy so let's do image url and for the store i believe there's some problem with images we do so basically you click preview i'm sorry um went very fast preview you have image url or you have something like image uh, saying something image you copy this url click cancel you click on the image you click placeholder paste that and it will dynamically show let's do two sorry two i know that but two okay so let's do 250 because it's <laughs> it's not showing me okay we have that let's preview yeah, so it shows the correct image. And now we want to do title. We have name right here. Let's do, oops, um, preview. Let's do title here. Oops. This way, uh, I mean, you know how to add the text. You just click on here and you modify the font, size, color. So it's not the purpose of this video to show you how to add the email. The purpose of this video to show you how to create abandonment car, uh, browser abandonment flow as well as the uh, dynamic block. So now we have creating preview, takes time. I'm not sure why. Uh, I'm not patient enough. So it's ready. So as you can see, it's, it's a name of the product and bo bottle image. Uh, let's do then, let's say this customer or 
let's do this customer it should show i'm not sure why it's this person let's do this one as you can see different text and different image and the last thing to add by the way any information that you you see here you can insert as a text uh, to the um, to the email so you can do product price um special price sku if you you want to do that but i, I don't think you want to do it okay so uh, and the last part i don't remember how to do it here but you want to include link to that specific to th that specific product and how do you do that okay so the last part as i said before sorry i i, I missed that <laughs> but basically you want to include url event url so to redirect them if they click on the name or the image we want to redirect them to that specific product instead of to homepage or some, some somewhere else. So we do a link and it's dynamic. It will change dynamically per the, uh, depends on which product they viewed. And here we do uh, other and we do like that. I think it's correct. We do preview, preview now. And we have it up, up and Oops, and it redirect to this image. So this is how you create a browser amendment flow as well as browser abandoned blocks in your email. Please let me know if you have any additional questions about this specific video or any other Clavio video, or maybe you have gen generic questions about Clavio or uh, any specific features. We release video daily. So if you ask a question, we will feature that question um, probably in a few days. Thank you.